Hey guys, what's up? Uh, it's Pen Daddy. And, um, yeah, welcome on my new video, uh, for this big tutorial that I am doing, uh, to explain you what is MB, how to install it, how to configure it, and, uh, how to, uh, get all the poten potential from MB, um, and optimize it the, the best way. Um, in the last video, I was showing you the concepts of streaming, uh, how to direct and uh, direct play, um, direct stream, and uh, transcoding concepts. Now, I want you to be able to install your first plugin. I have already, uh, in the next, in the last uh, videos, previous videos, I already um, set up users, um, libraries, so I have a lot of stuff going on here on my server. It's becoming a server, uh, interesting server to, uh, to be able to uh, stream and, uh, and play uh, my different content uh, anywhere, uh, basically inside, outside, uh, remotely and whatever. In this video, I want to show you, uh, I want to give you an overview of plugins because I have some knowledge on them. Uh, because I am using some of them, I will give you uh, the plugins that are like very important for you, and uh, in my opinion again, and uh, give you an overview of the system of plugin, so you will be able to 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 download your own plugin and to install them, to configure them, and uh, etc. So here. Um, MB is coming with uh, already pre-installed um, plugins, like the blue the Blu-ray folder support. So it's like straightforward. You understand very well what what it means for. So MB will be able to read the folder of Blu-ray format. The cinema intros. So the cinema intros like giving you the ability to uh, to watch uh, a movie or a piece not the movie but a piece of trailer or a piece of something before watching the real movie okay let's say you want to um you want to watch like uh die hard uh, 4 okay uh with bruce willis um, if you launch the movie with this uh, plugin, you will have like a trailer playing before the movie. And after the trailer is done, um, is played, you will have the real movie following. It depends on your taste. I'm not using it personally. You have to... Um, <clears throat> if I'm going to the settings, I will say... Like here, if I'm going into the settings, I will say that um, I can enable it here for movies or episodes. So you will be able to, to use it the way you want. And the DVD folder support, if you have some old DVDs, you will be able to see them. The DLNA also, I'm sorry, because the DLNA was before the DVD is when you want to use the DLNA uh, system. I would say, uh, honestly, uh, I don't mind because I'm not using DLNA anymore and it's like something that is, it's for me personally, it's technology that is dying, but uh, if you want to use it, still using it, you have the plugin for that. The Farnat uh, support, the MovieDB, the Music Brains, the Inifo, Metadata, OMDB, uh, open subtitles, everything here is related to uh, the metadata uh, download that you can have for the movies or the, the, the TV shows. So everything is, is related to that. Uh, so if you have all these uh, plugins here, you will be able to use the metadata from the movie DB, from Music Brains for the music, uh, OMDB also, open subtitles, whatever. The port mapper. Um, the pot mapper here is like, I would say it's like the plugin that is bringing you, ah, I can go on it, I don't have any description, but um, is the ability to uh, map ports uh, 
it's it's like it's like a router. So the the ability to to to, to map ports. Uh, the studio image is like to download the different images into MB. The audio DB is like another provider and the TVDB also. And the web hooks is like the possibility, uh, the capacity uh, from MB to call APIs from like a light because we are all, we have all great stuff at home for automation these days, right? Uh, let's say I have a light, uh, I have a light that is providing a web hook. Um, so basically to, to show an API, MB is able to call this API. So every time you start, you start a movie to, to play a movie, it will automatically shut down the light. Okay. It's a, it's a specific example, but it's MB is able to talk to other um, to other software or to other uh, uh, connected object, internet connected object. If I'm going into the catalog, I am able to see all the stuff, the, the plugin that I, I have available for MB server and also for Windows Media Servers, Media Center. But as I said in a previous video, Windows Media Center is just dying, just for Windows 7. And I would say, not use it if you are if you are like set up in a new server don't use it so basically plugins for mb server um i have some top plugins here the auto box set plugin here allows you to group all your movies in uh what we call collections and uh, just to give you a, a concrete example if you have like eight um eight harry potter movies and uh, you want to be able to find to find all of them very fast and quickly you have like in the menu of uh, all mb devices and uh, uh, clients you have a section called uh, collections and you will be able to find all the collections so all movies grouped uh, as one and click on the collection harry potter and find the eight movies the Cody companion here is like if you want to use the Kodi to connect, like a plugin to connect directly to um, to your server. The IPTV is like if you want to put an, um, if you have like um, how can I say that? If you have an external address to be um, to be watchable uh, on the internet, like in a, um, I think it's a and mp3 or mpv3 or something like that you can put in with this plugin you can put the internet address and mb will be able to read it directly from the internet and it will go through your server and it will after be it will be delivered directly to your clients uh, the server configuration backup if you want to uh, I don't know, reinstall your server or change the location of your server. It's something that is useful because you can bring all the configuration stuff. You don't have to do another time. Track if you, if you want to use the, um, the tracked system where it's a tracked is a website where you can see, you can say, Oh, I watch all these movies and now I am playing this movie. So it's like real time. Um, you have some people who can can see what you are watching and what you watched in the past. Uh, the cover art is like if you want to change the the way pictures, posters, and anything is is displayed in the NB, uh, you can use that. The trailer is like for me, trailers is very important because it's like uh, bringing you, um, um, I would say, a specific. Um, directory in NB where you can watch the last trailer. So just for the purpose of this test, I will install it. Okay, as you can see, the trailer is installed. But now, okay, get out of here. Thank you. Okay, now please restart NB server. So I have to restart NB server. So I'm going here for Windows, it's super simple. You just have to say, Restart MB server. Okay. 
I will just explain you a little bit what are the other. So NB statistics is to get statistics. Auto organize is to, um, um, I don't remember exactly what this thing is doing. Okay, I'm sorry because the, the server is restarting, right? <laughs> okay, server is loading. Please try again. Okay, can you use okay? Okay, it's fine. It's going back. So I think it's just auto organizing your media files based on some pattern. Um, like if you have, it's, it's about to detect like, um, a TV show where it's big, big mass and it's about to auto organize it correctly with a good name, with a good subfolders like season one, season two and things like that. I'm not using it, but I think it's for that. And in here, I think it's, um, this one is like a data provider, metadata provider specific to anim. Uh, the TV head ham and next PVR. I'm not using a PVR, so um, I think it's something related to that to to be able to use specific material, specific hardware uh, for for the the, the, the PVR. Um, here, anyway, I would say you have different providers, as you can see. I won't explain anything. I know tune in, for instance, because it's like playing music, so. Uh, I think just to show you, we also install this one. Okay. We'll also install this one just in order to show you. Okay. I will reboot after just to show you also, you have all this stuff you can have the movie teams theme song theme video uh, interactions with you Phillips like shutting down uh, lights or make or putting like a blue a blue color every time you launch something you have the possibility to back up your people because um, the MB is managing all the people locally downloading posters pictures description and you want to back up that sometimes uh, when you are just changing. You have the Z-Wave automation, home automation. Z-Wave is very famous in the automation thing. Like, I don't know, we can imagine like to close your door, you know, every time, every time you're watching a movie, I don't know, it's like, it's like a specific example, but the so Sonos devices are supported also. You have all the stuff for the DVB, okay? And interactions with the other system. You have the metadata, you have the Duban one for the Chinese stuff. Um, Time Lord is like, if you want to put, to change the release, I will say the, because you have two information into, uh, onto the different, different items you have, uh, in MB for the movies and the TV show. You have the release date and the downloaded date or added date, something like that. So the fact that, so the first date is like the release date of the movie, like, I don't know, Die Hard was released in, I don't know what year exactly, but it was produced and released that year. Um, and the second, the second date is like when it was added into MB. And sometimes you want to, when it to, the, the date when it was added into NB to be exactly the same as release date because because you will have like the latest release movies appearing uh, uh, at the top of recently added section. Okay, I, I think you understand what I mean. The TVDB, uh, we can have also notifications here, like the email notifications. You have a bunch of stuff. Working reporting, you can have playback reporting reports and these MB statistics, and and like the subtitles here. So I will also install. I don't know the playback reporting, but after that, I will definitely restart my 
and the server and we will see if the if the different I will say okay so they are waiting for a reboot I will reboot my MB server here just have to wait a little bit my laptop is not super fast as you can see okay nice so if i'm going here you can see stuff like traders okay for this one we required an mb premier uh, license the mp premier license could be both um could be it could be a monthly subscription or a one shot one shot one shot deal you know uh, and i don't know for the tuning but the tuning needs to be refreshed or something like that to work, I guess. Uh, so we just have to wait, or maybe we can just go and schedule tasks and uh, refresh internet channels, and I think it will work or not. I don't know. Okay, let's go here. No. Okay, so maybe first time. So you have two options, you wait. The first one is you wait, or you manually try to <laughs> refresh all the metadata. But I don't know if it will work, but anyway. Okay, but the the different, I would say the different plugins are, are here. Just a matter of time to let everything get the information from outside and uh, i think it will be it will be good but after that you will be able to use this one requires definitely uh, a subscription or or a one-shot deal you know because yeah you have to but um, this one shouldn't require anything but it's just a matter of time to refresh so um, and after that, with the traders, you will be able to play. And I'm just going into here because I already um, I just want to see if all my plugins, where are my plugins here, are working well. So the traders, have, if I click on it, I have the possibility to ask for a movie trader archive also to have more traders. In the tuning, if I want to put a username or something like that. So, if you install a plugin, a specific plugin, you have to go here on the setting page to um, just to say, okay, um, I have some options here and I have to discover all the options. And uh, maybe you have some things like Movie Trailer Archive. And you want to say, okay, I want to download all the movie trailer archive and get all the stuff here. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, in the next video, I will give you, um, I will say, a very little overview of uh, how to use your media, what kind of stuff you can do, like the filters and things like that, and uh, also uh, how you can play on other devices. Um, so it's it's super easy and you will see that it's super uh, user friendly so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i have a lot of stuff coming going on and uh, i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one thank you